Greetings to everyone watching. Um, a forum user uh, named Iridium uh, just recently asked to see a replay of, or at least a recent replay, of a Grozovoy game uh, so that they can uh, try to figure out how, what kind of playstyle they want to approach this uh, awesome tier 10 destroyer with. So uh, I just uh, went into a game with this uh, and uh, I went in with the uh, full intention of showcasing uh, everything that the Grozovoy can do really well. Uh, I was really hoping to get a carrier game in this. I know that sounds insane, but uh, that's just one more thing that uh, Grozovoy brings to the game is excellent anti-aircraft defense for itself and for team. And um, unfortunately, I didn't... Uh, get any carriers here but I, I think this game still really showcases a lot of what uh, Grozovoy does um, I made sure to uh, switch often between HE and AP to give uh, the user an idea of uh, how both work um, and uh, and I tried to use uh, torpedoes and get in position to use torpedoes whenever I could uh, so, uh, going over the matchmaking, there's a lot of um, threats here. I've got a Stalingrad, uh, the Donskoy, and the Zhao. Um, Zhao is a particular threat, I find, to uh, Grozovoy, as um, it can really, really uh, mess you up. Now, I switch really, really quickly um, to AP on this broadside Z52. You can get some really, really good pens on those big, fat German destroyers with uh, Russian AP. Uh, turn, turn away quickly. You notice I didn't, uh, I didn't directly go to cap. I went to the top of the cap, and I caught that Z-52 quite by surprise. And our team ends up doing a um, considerable amount of damage to him as a result, because he, he really gets caught out in the open. Um, and Grozovoy, like the Z-52, doesn't have great concealment. What Z-52 has is that, uh, ooh, I got whipped there, is that fantastic uh, Hydro. And and I knew he was uh, part of this game, so I didn't want to push into Cap, uh, get radared, get hydroed, get dead. That's that early in the game. I see the Zows out there, so I'm maintaining... Um, a little bit of firing discipline here. I could probably uh, open up on him now safely, but uh, I switch to AP. And uh, sort of vulture that kill. <laughs> I see that uh, the Donskoy and the Stalingrad are way outside of their radar range. So I can safely pop smoke, move around a little bit, avoid uh, the Z-52 moving back in and uh, getting some torpedoes on me. So I use my smoke to cut off the enemy's line of sight, hide for a bit, get my guns down, and uh, now I can move around in the cap. Look for targets. I'm trying to get a fire going on that Thunderer, but without success. Pick up this cap, and now I'm going to move over to the B cap to uh, assist. I'm assuming that Kitakaze and Z52 have given up on uh, the the D cap, or the, sorry, the B cap. There is it D cap? Yeah, that is D cap. Sorry that I'm in. Get my fire on the Massachusetts. So I'm assuming that the other two DDs have given up on that cap because we've got um, a pretty heavy presence there. Uh, I'm looking, our team is moving away from A cap toward B. Uh, so B is a really safe choice here. 
move in and then we can uh, start applying some southward pressure on the red team. I see this Massachusetts is going to come way up the line there. Shimikaze has got some torpedoes on him. Um, if Shimikaze blows him up real good, I'm going to move um, over top of the island into this area and uh, keep these guys all spotted. If Shimikaze doesn't blow him up good, I'm going to move down here and uh, try to give Massachusetts a little KY surprise as he comes across that island. Now it's likely he's going to be finished off by our team, but I want to make sure that that happens as quickly as possible. <laughs> Nobody needs a red Massachusetts in the game. And then I want to get myself in a position to pick a fight with this Kitakaze. And of course, um, at eight kilometers plus, uh, that's ideal for Grozovoy. I can hit him almost with impunity. Uh, he really can't, won't be able to hit me very well at all. I use one salvo of torpedoes, knowing that two would be a waste. I want to keep my torpedoes uh, still available if somebody pushes into me. And I've got perfect range to pick a fight with this Kitakaze. I'm not using AP against the Kitakaze. It will just overpen. Angle a little bit against uh, the incoming fire from the De Grossa. Um, so I see now Z-52 is pro... Oh, <laughs> there he is. Um, I got lucky on that one. I figured that he would be pushing into cap. And uh, I want to both get my this spread of torpedoes on the Kitakaze smoke and towards the DeGrossa to uh, keep both DDs back. But I got really lucky and uh, hit one of them with an errant torpedo. I'm hoping that the Kitakaze is still sitting in smoke, but um, that's just getting lucky. And I've got an eye now on this area of the minimap where the Massachusetts and the Yamato are pushing up into the A area. Um, these cruisers down here are really not in good position to nail me from that range. Uh, I'm going to approach this smoke with some trepidation. Yep, Kitakaze's in there. So I've got to stay silent and get away. I don't want to be seen here because Kitakaze can really uh, do some serious damage with his high rate of fire. Get some torpedoes into his smoke and tell him to maybe move out. Because I do want to pick a fight with him. I know he's low health. But it would help if I could see him. And you can see... Um, Grosovoy when it's when you play with a little bit of care uh it's very durable um i've bounced or at least taken uh without serious damage some uh battleship ap uh i've taken a couple of good salvos from the kitakaze i've been able to heal up a lot of my damage see the stalingrad i'm gonna try Hopefully my first HE salvo can catch a fire, but he's broadside, so I'm going to load him full of AP. There's our friend. No reason to switch to HE here.
He's such low health. Keep the AP going on the Stalingrad. Now I'm moving into a position knowing that the uh, Yamato is behind that island and I'm not at uh, I'm not in any threat of showing my side to him. And then if he does want to push forward from that island, I can get some torpedoes on him. So that's why I'm positioning the way I am. I'm anticipating um, putting some torpedoes towards that Yamato. Try to get a fire going on the Thunderer. There's what we were waiting for. It gives me a pretty good smack, but uh, we'll live to fight another day. I see that he slowed down, so I put um, my spread of torpedoes a little bit behind the torpedo marker, figuring that he may, in fact, be in reverse. Yeah, there he is. He's in reverse. Get my fire, which he'll DCP. I see that my torpedoes are almost certainly going to be on target, so I'm going to move out of here and let um, my torpedoes and my teammates finish off this Yamato while I get to work on the Thunder and the Donskoy. Maintaining um, some safe social distancing here. But still um, putting myself in a position to keep everything spotted. Switch to the Donskoy. He's broadside to me. I got that Yamato with the torpedo. The, the flood is uh, what ends up doing it for him. Uh, that was a pretty good Grozovoy game. I think that... Uh,